Good morning guys! Welcome to my February indoor garden update. I'm always in a hurry, it seems to be. like I remember, oh my god, I have to put up some videos over there in my channel in, in the end of the month. Oh my god, guys. Uh, this baby's here, there's beautiful phalaenopsis, has been blooming over there in my indoor table, in the uh, my living room table, so I keep forgetting about this baby, so I finally remembered, so I have to include this one in this um, update, or tour, or whatever you call it, guys. But I have to show you something cool, guys. I'm really excited about this. Remember, um, I like to raise this um, expensive kind of amaryllis, or hippiastrum, or lirio, um, twinsies right here. Sit by that I will show you what's what I do for this babies when it comes of age when it's time to harvest that one and oh this is a uh, Amaryllis Papilio butterfly and I'll show you something cool guys something cool 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 that I learned from um youtuber called um the Amaryllis man he's based in Florida and he's selling a lot, bunch of Amaryllis look I learned this method from him called the floating. Just put in the bowl of water. Look at this. I covered it. Plastic. Look underneath that one, guys. There, can you see those feet? Oh my god, guys. Those are the roots that started coming out from the seed of the amaryllis. Not all of the seeds, by the way, are viable. Look at that. Ah, oh, look. It's so cool, guys. I noticed this the other day, but there was only eight that I counted. But now there are a few more. Look. There's a lot. Isn't it excited, guys? Thank you so much, Mr. Amaryllis Man. I don't know. Look at that. It's so cool. I'm always so excited, guys, when I see these babies. Look at this. This is my first time doing this. And um planting um amaryllis from um seeds. Really? That is so cool. So anyway, focus please. I'm trying to move so slow. Look at this. The snow finally has melted. We had a big pile up of snow in there. Finally, the rain has melted them. Look at this. This is one of the two white fowl, white fowl in here. Yeah. And this one. It is still blooming. I like that. It looks like apricot color. And and this phalaenopsis, it's beautiful. That's really gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, in the background over there, my um. African violets has bloomed again. And down right here. What a surprise. My begonia green gold. It has a flower in that. Look. Beautiful leaves. And right there. Blooming African violets. Right here guys. I put my babies. I don't think these babies are big enough for the cool room in my uh, uh, orchidarium. Look at that. Wow. Okay, that very vibrant color over there, very eye catching, is my um, Amaryllis Red Lion. She's um, 
She got two short um, scape or stalks right there. I only pollinated this one and then the um, ceiling fan pollinated this other three right here. So that's their thing. Look, it's so gorgeous, guys. Massive um, trumpet shape flower. Just so velvety. Look at that. So easy. Look at that. The, I pollinated this one. So easy to pull it, guys. There's a stigma. Well formed, well shaped, open, nice. Just grab some, grab some um, pollens from the anther. The anther, by the way, is in the tip of the stigmas. So very easy, guys. Even the ceiling fan can, can pollinate them. Like this one right here. Ooh, that's a lot of pollens. Simple as that, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous epiastrum. Look at that. And right here in the corner, the corner tuck away is my um, miniature, miniature fall. So I move slowly up the amaryllis. We have this Cycopsis Mindenhall Hildo. And this one is my other uh, gigantic pal, white. Yeah. Below that's my begonias. Below, 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 below. So I move so slow. That one. Pirates sun eye catching one. It's another begonias that I brought in just for the color. The second spike and this um epidendrum radicans and in the background there's the phalaenopsis too the semihydro and slow 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 look guys don't mind that yellow paper catching um bunch of fungus nuts it's gross i don't want to focus on it Good. and this baby a couple days ago it, it got stuck right here in the apex and it started blooming just one bloom oh my god and i i can't help it so it just managed and just left it alone on its own and it just managed to grow this one almost like seems overnight the stalks on it and look at this this is my clevia miniata fire lily it's gonna be gorgeous too yeah i don't cut this green guys i have to um uh, leave them alone that they know they, they have to return the, their own goodness back to the bulb right there on their own I don't want to cut it that one's right there too in the back but the 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 other ones, the first spikes like this, it turned brown and I just pull it off. And so that's why I have to leave the rest of them in there. Yeah, that's my Clevia Miniata, guys. Super excited about that. Yes. So I have to, quite, not quietly, um, gently go over here. So it's plants here, guys. So I call it jungle. And this is a new baby of my um, sick notches, um, Farnsworthianum. Yeah, species one. I'm so excited because the mother suitable died on that one. So I'm kind of like really taking good care of this one. And this one can use um, a drink. And look at the roots on this vandas, guys. It escaped the big container and it travels over there where the moisture is is from the edge of the African violet right there wow they find a way they look for moistures that's why and look even the flowers gone already long gone this one has still lost its lush 
leaves, guys. My Monirara Millennium Magic Witchcraft. Yep. This underneath that one is very lush, big bush of African violets that has started to flower again. Uh, I'm not saying no to these beautiful, gorgeous flowers. Yep. I snap a picture of it. And this one here, guys, is my orchidarium. This one, my din. Oh, I'll show you. I did not turn on the heater last night. Look, when I opened this one today, it's only 10 degrees Celsius. And it says temperature is 54. That's below. Look at that below number that's the temperature the indoor humidity is 57 percent oh guys this one is a jungle as well but it made me a liar because i said this one flowers in february's well the last previous um temperate climate we have i thought oof that's gonna be forever like those always made me gave me flowers in February but this one is full blown on winter guys mr. winter claim the season we got plenty plenty of snow and cold sleet and freezing rain and stuff like that we have we have all that this winter so that's why I, I guess it delay the opening of the buds look at this except for this one See, see guys, I wasn't totally lying. This two, <laughs> we still have, including today, we still have two days left of February. See, that one has opened. I can't really turn this because it's massive. See, look at that. This beautiful dendrobium. I think this is the spring bird, spring Apollon, something like that. Oh. Oh goodness, I can't, I can't, I don't want to risk losing those beautiful, well-formed buds over there. And look at that, even though it's cold right here, look at the massive, like, up, beautiful roots on the bay, on the kikis, on this interview. Wow, I can't wait for spring, so that I can just take that out outside, and then it can um, get used to the outside, and I just grow, grow for me. I want, I want those. And look at that. See? This, they already have color, guys. All they have to do is to push to open it. To open it. And this, this is still February, guys. Look at this. They have the power to open today. Look at this. But this there's already color on that one. It's so gorgeous, guys. Look at that. It's just so amazing. I can't wait for this to bloom. OMG. All around in this pot. All around. This is my dendrobium fancy angel lacy. Oh, that one is. I saw crack on that bud. Beautiful. It's cracking. It's gonna open. And that's still. It's still February, guys. Tomorrow it can still get fully open and that's still February so not totally not totally embarrassing me look at, look at that look at this this is supposed to be the first one of them to open very easy this spring ah the yellow canary the yellow song canary look at that so gorgeous and there's more over there my dendrobium nobilis that's why I like them. I, I want them to dominate in my dom, dominate in my collections with that. Because I know for sure I can grow them here. Yeah. Look at that. That's my red emperor. It's already cooler in there. All it has to do is to open. I think it's gonna start tomorrow, the end of February, I said. So that they're not totally making a liar out of me. And so on guys. Over there too, there's more. Unbelievable. And down, down, under here. 
Let's start in that corner. Look at that, guys. Still blooming. And this one here. That one. This is my original. It's supposed to be the tiny, tiny um plant. When I started with this one, this dendron bloom king yano. Last year this was spectacular. This one's only a few, but I'll show you the baby, the baby on that one. Just slow instead of pausing. And just right here. Just look at the guys. It loves this room. It loves this room. Love, love this room, this one. Look at that. That's a super gorgeous um, compact miniature plants of Dendrobium Kenyano, Australian Dendrobium. Gorgeous, guys. And it's fragrant too. When the sun hits it, oh, I don't know. So uh, sometimes I think today it's just so cold. I can't detect any. Let me see if I put my nose in it. Let me pause it first. Yes, it's fragrant, guys. Especially if if you put this outside you know, under the sun. It's gorgeous, guys. I love that. Right here, guys, just greenery, greenery. Oh, this one. I just spotted it, guys, with you. Started opening. Right here. Maybe it's just a crease, but it's very healthy looking. Um, sheath, guys, of this Cattleya. Oh, I feel bad. Maybe next year I'm going to put all the Cattleyas indoors. I'm in my, yeah, right indoor of there, my kitchen. Because I feel bad. I'm, I'm afraid it's going to be full on winter again. Oof, it's so cold. It's cold in here for me. This one. This Ancidium. This still managed to be happy right here. Yeah. That whole year right there. This cooler temperature didn't bother that whole year. Oh, this one, guys. This is my um. It looks like a jumping jack, isn't it? I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. This is my um. A saigo petalum. This pretty need repotting, guys. It has um one, two, three, four, five, two. Yeah, five blooms. Saigo petalum in blue. Flowering and my Catlia Volcano Trick Volcano Queen. Look at that. One, it's got lots of buds right here. And this one over there and over here. Yeah. And below, below, below. It skipped flowering last year, but this year it made up. we made up for it. Look at that, guys. Even right there, it really like the cool and then um, not water so much. Go on, look at that! I see this spikes right there. This spike, um, nabin that would turn into spikes. Look at that that's very advanced already. That's the first time I saw actually, um, two weeks ago. Just a bump, and I didn't thought of it, you know. Then I came back again. And seeing that growing, and I'm so excited. Looks like I got one, two, three, oh, yeah. four. I have a spectacular flower show on this one. A five? That one? Oh my god, I, there's probably more guys, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna. Wait at the out and oh, there's more oh, you guys. Look at that in the back. My goodness, I was looking for um in the website Google where is the next schedule for the orchid show here in New England. 
none guys nah, ada they all get cancelled because of the pandemic you know he all got cancelled so I can't go to the orchid show oh look at this there's another one <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not gonna count it yet, guys. It could be well, sometimes we can't predict this thing. It's gonna happen, it's gonna get blasted. So, okay, but I'm so excited about it again. This is my um, Dendrobium tersiflorum, the the beautiful pendulous bunches of flowers of um, you know, tersiflorum. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited about that. And this one right here, my babies. Snubbins, the one in the corner, there are so plenty. Got some more nubs. Oh, not nubs, um, well formed buds right here. And that's the semi hydro that I took off the leaves and forbs because it was covered with um, mealy buds. Yeah, these buds. This one right here, one of the um. Buds blasted. Yeah. So I leave, leave with one. Hi guys.